If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, J. Cole takes shots at No Name on his new song, Snow on the Bluff, and Lecrae responds to White Blessing Backlash. Plus, Akon gets $6 billion to start building his city. Let's talk hip-hop. All right, so today, uh, J. Cole dropped a new song called Snow on the Bluff, right? Um, and the song is fire, right? And basically, J. Cole is giving his take on how he feels about what's going on today uh, in like these uh, race relations and today's current climate in America, right? Um, and he specifically is talking about one person that he sees up and down on his timeline, um, and he just kind of responds to them, right? And the person that he uh, is talking about is No Name, who is another rapper, right? Um, and the whole situation though is that with no name um she on her timeline what you know j cole explains and also what i've seen too is that she basically is you know fighting for you know equality in the black community which is good right but she also kind of like comes at people sometimes other black people for what they're doing i guess the way somebody protests you know no name might not think is the right way right or she doesn't believe that it's the right way j cole is basically saying that he sees that you know she's been to school and she's educated and she has all these degrees and maybe she has a better plan but he feels like she he's on her side he says that I love you and I appreciate you but I feel like you shouldn't be so preachy when you're trying to teach our people right J. Cole basically is talking to no name and saying that listen we're all on the same team right and you can't come at me for not knowing how to protest or not knowing what the next step is because not everybody is as educated as you. J. Cole was like, I don't uh, claim to be as educated as you and I'm sure that you probably know more about this subject, but teach us like children and not on no stupid way, like talk to me like I'm dumb or like I'm a kid, but have compassion. Like if you see a kid do something dumb, you have compassion for them. You're like, you know what? That's just a kid. So let, let's educate that person, not chastise them, right? And I think that's where J. Cole is coming from with this song called Snow on the Bluff, right? Also the, the term Snow on the Bluff, um, you know, it's from a series that's on Netflix. And I guess, you know, J. Cole basically in the song said, you know, one line where he saw a fan who was like, yo, J. Cole, thank you for doing everything that you're doing for the black community. And J. Cole was like, you know, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. But really, he felt fake as fuck, uh, just like the show Snow on the Bluff. So that's where the title of the song comes from, right? But then, of course, a lot of people on Twitter were coming at J. Cole and calling him uh, misogynistic because he has certain words to say about another rapper. And that rapper happens to be female. He didn't say anything super masculine or hey, I'm big or nothing like that but just because this person is a female all of a sudden he's misogynistic he cannot disagree with somebody if they're a female according to Twitter according to Twitter right um so of course Twitter starts talking about they're gonna cancel J. Cole cancel J. Cole shouldn't even be a statement that you would say together right J. Cole sees this and he goes on Twitter right and he's like morning I stand behind every word in the song that I dropped last night. Right or wrong, I can't say, but I can say that it was honest, right? He says, some assume to know uh, who the song is about, and that's fine with me. Um, it's not my job to tell anybody what to think or feel about the work. I accept all conversations and criticisms. But let me just use this moment to say that you should follow No Name. I love and honor her as a leader in these times. She has done, uh, uh, she has done and is doing the reading and the listening and the learning on the path that she truly believes is correct, uh, the one for her and the people. Meanwhile, a nigga like me is just rapping. I haven't done a lot of reading and I don't feel uh, well equipped as a leader in these times, but I do do a lot of thinking and I uh, appreciate her and others like her because they change uh, they challenge my beliefs and I feel that that's important in this time right now uh, we may not agree with each other but we gotta be gentle with each other right so J. Cole actually comes out 
lets everybody know he stands behind what he says. Y'all niggas ain't canceling J. Cole. He says, go follow No Name. But here is, I guess, more context around what I was saying in that song, right? Um, and I mean, this is dead true. This is something that I said two weeks ago um, that I saw this all up and down my timeline too. Not No Name specifically, but you know, around that time that it was like Black Tuesday and certain people were blacking out their profiles and other people were saying that the people that are blacking out their profiles are messing up the Black Lives Matter algorithm, right? Because all they see is black squares. And then I was just like, how are we fighting amongst each other on how to protest? It's crazy. Maybe we should be educating each other and helping each other out instead of just coming at each other. That's what they want, right? Um, and so J. Cole is basically saying the same thing, only he's rapping it, right? And he's taking aim at No Name specifically. But uh, No Name hasn't said anything. Um, I don't know if she will. A person that did say something, though, was Ari Lennox, right? And Ari Lennox is uh, signed to J. Cole's record label, the first and only female rapper on Dreamville Records. Um, so I'm sure that Ari probably heard the song before J. Cole even put it out, before, you know, the rest of us heard it, right? Because J. Cole is her boss, right? So anyway, she puts up this picture on her Instagram. Shout, that's No Name, by the way. Shouts out No Name. And she's like, thank you, Queen, for giving a fuck about us constantly and endlessly. I feel and appreciate everything that you put out in the world. Among uh, almost everything you tweet moves me. I need and I am moved by so much uh uh, I stand that you stand for. Uh, no name. Uh, thank you for enlightening us, Queen. I pray uh, all folks appreciate and understand. Right. Um. So this is just dope. And I guess like she, as kind of like almost J Cole's little sister, is kind of letting no uh no name know that niggas over here ain't really got no hard feelings for you. This is just how you know Big Bro was feeling. Right. Um. But that's dope, yo. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. But I want to flip that upside down because I think the other side of it is true with our nation's history. We miss, we understand the curse that was slavery, white people do, and we say that was bad, but we miss the blessing of slavery that it actually built up the framework for the world that white people live in yes. and lived in. And so a lot of people call this white privilege, and when you say those two words, it just is like a fuse goes off for a lot of white people because they don't want somebody telling them to check their privilege. And so I know that you and I both have struggled in these days with, hey, yeah. if the phrase is the trip up, let's get over the phrase and let's get down to the heart. Sure. All right, Joe. So this is an all hip hop dot com exclusive, right? Um, so there that was a clip of Lecrae, right? And Lecrae is a rapper, but he's more like a Christian rapper, right? I mean, the whole situation is he's there doing an interview with this preacher and they're talking about the current state of what's going on in the world. And this preacher basically puts his foot in his mouth and says that slavery was a blessing, right? And I was really, I watched this clip like three, four, five times trying to understand what the hell this fucking um, pastor was even trying to say, right? Um, I guess what he was trying to say is that slavery is a gift because at the end of the day, it helped spread Christianity throughout the world and to different cultures and we gave Christianity to the Africans that we enslaved and that was a good thing and we gave Christianity to the people that were already in America when we came and say that we discovered it right and because we as Christians and white people were moving all through the world and the earth we spread Christianity all over the place so that has to be a white blessing for slavery right I think that's where he was trying to go right here's Lecrae yup that's right mm-hmm yup uh-huh shake nodding and shaking his head right crazy Easy, right so of course social media blew up and they were like yo what the fuck is up with this dude Lecrae why didn't he check this pastor or this preacher for saying this right um so Lecrae actually ended up doing an interview with Jigsaw from allhiphop.com to give his perspective on exactly what happened why didn't you check him at the point he said uh white blessing yeah so what's funny about it is like um I really didn't even catch it. Like my, like it was like I heard it, but I didn't hear it. It was like almost like I hear what you're saying, but I don't think I hear what you're saying. So I'm like tracking, like uh huh. And inside, I was like, wait, where's he going with this? Like, we're, you know, almost trying to give him like, okay, well, where are you going with this? What are you trying to say? And then I got his intention. You know what I'm saying? But so it wasn't like he was saying slavery's a blessing. It was more like he was trying to say all people hate white privilege can we rename it 
So basically Lecrae is like, yo, listen, I heard him, but I didn't hear him, right? Um, and I get it, right? And this has happened to me before. Sometimes if you got the camera in front of you and you got the lights on and you're talking to somebody and you're in the middle of an interview and they're saying something to you and you hear them and you're acknowledging them and stuff like that, but you don't really like register what they're saying. I get it, right? But at the end of the day, uh, one would think that even if you are nervous or you know shy or whatever it is, that if somebody says something racist to you, whether you're on film or not, that you would forget that the cameras were rolling uh, because you got to be like, yo, dude, you wilding out. How is slavery a blessing, right? Um, the second thing that he said was that this uh, dude was just trying to basically explain how um, he wanted the term uh, white privilege to be changed, right? So, uh, yo, I don't think that the term white privilege should be changed at all. This is not why we should let him rock and just say whatever he wants to say. White privilege makes white people uncomfortable and that's fine. It's supposed to make them uncomfortable. They have white privilege. They need to use that white privilege to help out people who are oppressed, right? And then the third excuse that Lecrae gave was the fact that the night before this interview, he was out there on the front lines protesting and he was screaming and cop spaces and he was getting all riled up right so that he told himself I, I don't know why he told himself but he told himself that he needs to calm down so the following day when he was at the interview he purposely was trying to check himself and not get so hyped about the situation because the night before he was very hype about the situation right but right now is not the time to calm down my nigga get hyped my nigga that was that's what you're here for that's what you need to do we need everybody to get fucking hyped shit roll and then it's gonna keep on rolling that's what i'm saying right so the whole situation is crazy right i get it lecrae i get it but i don't get it right um but hey let me know what y'all think about this in the comments Yo, this is dope, right? Because Akon just announced that um, he's going to be receiving a $6 billion grant uh, to start building his city, right? And this is phase one, right? Um, and this is insane because y'all know for like the last two or three years now, Akon has been talking about building his own city uh, called Akon City in Senegal, Africa, right? And he is dead ass on his way to doing that, right? Um, so the whole situation is this will help them start phase one is what it's called. So the $6 billion is going to help them build roads. Uh, build some par uh, some hospitals, police stations, um, and a few homes and residences, right? And a couple of schools too, right? Um, they should be done with phase one by like 2023. And then they're going to start on phase two, um, which is going to last until I think 2029, where they're going to build more homes, more schools. Uh, they're going to start building parks. They're going to start building stadiums and hotels too, right? Um, the whole situation is at least by 2029, 25, Akon says that he wants to have the whole city running exclusively on uh, Acoin, which is his cryptocurrency, right? So ain't nobody spending dollars or anything there. It's going to completely be Acoin, right? Um, and this company that gave him the $6 billion grant is a U.S. company, right? So this is insane, right? Akon is going to have his own city in Africa for real. I don't know who's going to be the mayor of the city. I guess he'll cross that bridge when he gets there. But this is crazy. That means like when you pull up, you type in Akon on like Google Maps, his fucking city is going to pop up. Like, this is insane. I think that Akon is probably going to be the richest black man on earth um, in 15 years, man. But this is insane, yo. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Follow me at Johnny Fastlane on Instagram and y'all already know what to do. Peace.